Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Cromel School. We all were beginners once. And in this video I will do a correction of a manicure done by a beginner, who learned the basics from YouTube videos. We will see what we can do with that, let's get into it. Let's check my model's nails first. This manicure was done by my model's friend, who learned how to do it from YouTube videos. What is surprising is that I can't see any liftings, but the nails are growing down badly. I guess the tech didn't know what we need to do to fix it and lift down growing tip. Our task today is to fix this problem and create a pretty design, so as always it will be exciting. For the correction we need to remove two-thirds of the old coverage up to a thin underlay. We can leave the free edge as it is since we will need it later to lift up the tips. The pinky is broken, so I need to extend it. Now the nails look too thick because of all the material and their shape. So we will shape them into almonds. Some of you may ask why we are doing a correction and not a new extension, since it's way easier to remove the lens and extend a new. But I think it's not that exciting. Besides, there are lots of ways to fix such nails. Using dual forms, gel, polygel or any other material. There are a few such videos on my channel already. So we will use polygel today. On the thumb, the nail twists a lot, if we look from the tip. So we need to fix this as well. The nails don't just grow down, but also curl. We lift up the cuticle with a pusher. It is spreading, there is lots of pterygium, so I'm cleaning it out with a pusher. The better we lift up the cuticle, the easier it will be to efi later. Let's smooth out the transition from the natural nail using a 180 grade file. I find the shortest nail, here it's the ring finger, and start filing. I have chosen the almond shape since it will look the best on such nails and it will also be easier to lift them up. I remove the lens on the pinky finger to extend it later. I don't shape it properly now, since I can do it only after fixing the tips. I put the finger to the side and file the lower parallel. I get the file under the thumbnail to fix the curve. I'm doing a manicure using a red flame drill bit, 0.23 in diameter. Then I will cut it with scissors, so it will be a combined manicure, since my model's cuticle is wet and spreading. I also call such cuticle an Instastar, since it is that exact type that gets cut in a single piece. I cut it off and there is so much of it, that I need to cut it off once again. I can praise the tech for at least trying to watch tutorials on YouTube, since some don't even bother to and just ruin their clients' nails. But of course, it is better to take a course, so the instructor could show you all the basics and point out all the nuances and mistakes, so you could learn from them. I dehydrate the nails and I won't apply a primer since my model's nails are dry and I will use an acidic base cut, so there is no need for a primer. Apply a thin layer of the base cut on all five nails at once and send to cure for 30 seconds. I will be using this milky poly gel. Since later I will do a gradient design that will look better on it. I also need such liquid for sculpting. I'm using paper forms to extend the pinky. I set it up a bit downward, so this doesn't stick out that much. If we set the form straight, it will look upgrowing compared to the other nails. I make the cuts. And set up the form. Press it well. 
I will need two drops of polygel. Here comes a small one for the underlay. I put it on the form. It should be thin. Now sand to cure. Milky shades are very popular now. And I found the perfect one from Iman. Write in the comments which brands of Milky Poly Gel you can recommend. I squeeze the form, remove the ears and take it off. Now we can build up the architecture. I grab a bigger drop, about a piece size. I try to lay it out evenly. Remove the excess and put it back in the tube. To lift up the curved tip, let's go in two steps. First, we build up the free edge height and then the architecture. One thick drop of polygel won't cure from the inside well. And it can cause cracks. Look from the side view. I keep a straight line from the gross point to the free edge and build it up. I put a drop on the middle nail, smoothing out the transition to prevent any liftings. The ring one isn't long enough, so we need to extend it a bit. The thumb is not thick enough, but I will build it up with one more drop. Now cure in the lamp and build it up near the cuticle. I put a bigger drop on the apex at a 45 degree angle. I push it toward the cuticle, keeping it 0.5 mm away from it, so it couldn't get there. And pull the material toward me. At this stage, we need to cure the nails well for not less than one minute. Polygel is the most convenient to use fixing the architecture, since it doesn't flow and you can build up the length you need. The only drawback is the material waste. It is huge here, so if you are good at the form setup, it will be easier to remove the coating and extend the nails in you. Now remove the tacky layer and proceed with filing. Starting with the lower parallels, get the file under the nail. I need to file a straight line from the gross point to the free edge. Place the file like this and make long moves in both directions. Make sure to hold the finger so it doesn't hurt. We have lifted it up and now shape it into an almond. I file up the surface as well. By the way, another method is to lift up the tip with the first polygel drop and build up the architecture with some gel in no filing technique. It will be even faster. I clean up the file with the brush since it gets clogged with polygel. Of course, it's hard to file such a thick layer. So I drill it out from the inside and then file it. I turn the hand over and now it's time to drill out the thickness from the inside as well. I dehydrate the nails. They already look pretty, but we have decided to do a gradient with the milky gel, so let's stick to our plan. It will be a dry ombre with colored gel polishes. I have arranged the bottles as I will apply them, and now let's mix and match. One at the cuticle, another one on the free edge, then vice versa, and so on. I apply the gel polish on one third of the nail plate, stepping back from the cuticle first so it couldn't flow. I apply one thick layer, and now pull it down, 
using my ombre brush, creating a gradient effect. After that, I paint near the cuticle with a thin brush, cure in the lamp for 30 seconds, and apply the next color on the free edge, turning the brush away, and pulling it upward with tapping moves to blend it in. This design is great since you don't need to perfect the gradient, since there will be a milky gel on top of it. Next comes the gradient from pink to blue, now from blue to turquoise, on the ring finger from green to light green, and from light green to yellow on the pinky. We are not done yet. Now let's cover the nails with this milky gel. You can apply any gels or base coats. And if you don't have a milky one, mix it yourself – white plus clear gel. Don't apply too much, just a small drop in the center and spread it on the sides. Turn the nail over to even it out. And our gradient looks perfectly smooth. Repeat this step on the rest of the nails. Apply a thin layer first, then put a drop and spread it. I think that anyone can do such gradient, and it will look really cool. That's not all. Let's apply this quail egg gel polish. I apply a thin layer, spreading it and placing the dots as I wish. Now all is left to do is to cover it up with a top coat. I know that there are top coats with a quail egg effect, but I don't have one. Apply a thin layer, so the particles don't stick out. Our amazing results! If you liked it too, write in the comments, subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. I wish you all success on your work. Good luck! Bye-bye!